Hello friends, how are you all? Hope you all are good. We all are staying in a house, flat or something like that. Okay? Do you know what is the material which is used to build these flats? It is bricks. The name of our chapter is building with bricks. In this chapter, we are learning something related to bricks. Okay? Do you know what is a brick? Hmm? Have you seen this before? Okay, a brick is a man-made building material used to make walls and other constructions and it is made of clay. In the introduction of your chapter, it is mentioned that a school named Jagrati is having different kinds of brick patterns and I will show you some of them. Okay, these all are the patterns that is in Jagriti school. You can see different shapes. There is a triangle shape, X shape, zigzag shape, X shape, squares, circles, etc. And some of them are symmetrical too. Do you know what is symmetrical? Okay. Okay. This image, we are splitting this image into two. And we are, if we are getting two equal images, then it is called as symmetric. Okay. And this is another image. We are splitting this into two, but we are getting two different images. So that is asymmetric. Okay. So we are moving to the constructions using bricks. Okay. These are some examples of the construction of bricks. These are walls, floors, and arch. This is jali. That's a window kind of structure. Okay. We are moving to the important sections now. How to draw a brick? Do you know what is the shape of a brick? Brick is having a shape. What is it? It is cuboid. The shape of a brick is cuboid. Okay. And how do we know that it's a cuboid? A cuboid is having some properties. And I'll show you what it is properties of a cuboid. All the faces of a cuboid are rectangle and opposite faces are in same size. You, ha you have to know what a face is and we are moving to it. Surface, edge and corners of a cuboid. Face or surface of a cuboid. Okay. A face. Faces are sides of a shape. You can see this image and it is having the sides. All these sides are known as faces. There are six faces for a cuboid. This cuboid is getting opened up and you can see how many of them are there. One, two, three, four, five and six. There are six faces for a cuboid. Okay. Now vertices. Vertices are corners of a cuboid. The point at which the lines meet is known as vertices. You can see this is a line, this is a line and this is a line. All these three lines are meeting at a point and that is known as vertices. Now let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So there are eight vertices for a cuboid. Now edges. Edges are straight lines of a cuboid. An edge is the line where two faces meet. Okay. So you know what a face is. This is a face and this is a face. Both of these faces are meeting at this line and that is known as edges. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so there are 12 edges for a cuboid. You know what a cube is? And there are and uh, we have learned about cuboid now and 
most of them are having a confusion with cube and cuboid. Okay, there are some difference and similarities between cube and cuboid. Okay, this is a cube and that's a cuboid. Okay, first we are looking into the similarities. The similarities of cube and cuboid. Both of them are having 8 vertices, 12 edges and 6 faces. We had learned it just now. Okay. Okay, now we are moving to the difference. For a cube, all the edges are in equal length. Okay. Edges are in equal length. See, these all are the edges. All these edges are in equal length. For a cuboid, all the edges are in different length. See, these all are in different length. So, a cube is having all the edges in equal length. For a cuboid, all the edges are in different length. Okay, all the faces are square. For a cube, you can see the face. You can see the face here. All the faces will be in square shape. Okay, for a cuboid, all the faces will be in rectangular shape. Areas of all faces are equal. You can see the area, the whole area of the side. And all the faces will be equal. The area of all the faces will be equal. And in the case of cuboid, areas of opposite faces are equal. Only the opposite faces will be equal. Okay? And that's all the difference. These are some examples of a cube. This is a Rubik's cube and this is a dice. Okay, this is a juice box and that's a CPU. Okay, we are having a question. The size of a brick. I'll read it out. Munia wants to make a wall one meter long. How much? one meter long. How many bricks will he need to put in a line? So for that we have to know the size of a brick. Okay? This is the approximate size of a brick. For a brick its length is 20 to 21 centimeter. We can take it as 20 centimeter. Its width is 10 centimeter to 11 centimeter and its height is 7 centimeter to 8 centimeter. Okay, let me read the question again. Munia wants to make a wall 1 meter long. How many bricks will he need to put in a line? Okay, for that we have a formula. That is the total length needed divided by the length of the brick. What is the total length needed? We need, he need 1 meter. Okay. So the total length needed is 1 meter and length of the brick is 20 centimeter. See, 1 meter divided by 20 centimeter. We have to make the units into same. Okay, then how can we make 1 meter into centimeter? We know that 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. So we can write it there. How can we write? You see, 100 centimeter divided by 20 centimeter. Okay, if we do this problem, we will get answer as 5. What is mean by that? Munia needs 5 bricks to complete 1 meter. Hmm? Okay, and that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed my class. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.